Hello and welcome to this video on bladder anatomy aimed at medical students and others studying as healthcare professionals. The bladder is an intraperitoneal muscular organ in the pelvis. It's needed for temporary storage of urine and, hopefully, when the time is right, assists with expelling it. The bladder is distensible and its shape therefore changes with the volume of urine it stores. When full, it's oval shaped and when empty, it's flattened by the pressure within the abdominal cavity. The gross anatomy of the bladder can be divided into the apex, which is the superior portion connected to the umbilicus via the median umbilical ligament, the fundus, which is found posteriorly, the body, which is located between the apex and the fundus, and the neck, which elongates in shape to form the urethra. The inner lining of the bladder contains folds, called rugae, which allow the bladder to expand as it fills. Urine will enter the bladder via the ureters at the vesico-ureteric junctions, and exits via the internal urethral orifice. These three openings form an anatomical area known as the trigone. The main blood supply to the bladder is from the superior vesical artery, which is a branch of the internal iliac artery. Let's have a look at the bladder wall. The inner lining of the bladder is the mucosal layer, which is made up of transitional epithelium, a type of epithelium designed to change shape in response to stretching. External to the mucosal layer is the detrusor muscle. This is a smooth muscle with fibres orientated in multiple planes to allow it to maintain its structure whilst fully stretched. The function of the detrusor muscle is to contract and force urine out through the urethra during urination. The superior and posterior wall of the bladder are also covered with a layer of visceral peritoneum. The urethra has two muscular sphincters. The internal urethral sphincter in males is made of smooth muscle and functions to prevent retrograde movement of semen during ejaculation. As it's made of smooth muscle, it's under autonomic control, i.e. non-conscious control. The internal urethral sphincter in females does not contain muscle, but is anatomically formed by the bladder neck and proximal urethra. The external urethral sphincter is made of skeletal muscle, and it therefore is under somatic, or conscious, control. There are multiple motor and sensory nerves supplying the bladder which contribute to our control of micturition. Motor nerve supply can be divided into somatic, which supplies muscles under conscious control, and autonomic, which we don't have conscious control over. The somatic nerve supply to the bladder is via the pudendal nerve, which innervates the external urethral sphincter. You have to consciously relax its muscle to allow urine to pass. The autonomic supply can be further subdivided into sympathetic branch made of the hypogastric nerve, which causes relaxation of the detrusor muscle to allow urine retention, and the parasympathetic branch, which is made of the pelvic nerve, causing contraction of the detrusor muscle to help with expelling urine from the bladder. The pelvic nerve also controls the internal urethral sphincter, which will cause relaxation of the smooth muscle in males allowing urine to pass. The sensory nerves are those which carry information from the bladder to the central nervous system. There are neurons connecting the bladder to the brain, which allows us to feel when our bladder is full, and these are generally stimulated when the bladder reaches around 200 mils. But there are also sensory neurons that only reach the spinal cord and then loop back round to the pelvic nerve without reaching the brain. This is known as the bladder stretch reflex. This is a non-conscious process which causes the detrusor muscles to contract when the bladder wall is stretched by urine. This process is generally overridden after we've been toilet trained as children. However, spinal cord injuries above T12 can result in loss of conscious bladder control from the brain, resulting in the bladder stretch reflex taking control again. Thanks for watching and see you next time.